Today we think about words that stink. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. And to everybody celebrating in America, happy Thanksgiving. Happy we Thanksgiving. Are we are so thankful for you making us a part of your daily routine. I am ready to smell and spell today. And this is gonna be a fun one because we haven't done this in a while. Did you take a shower this morning? You gotta check. Yeah, I did. I did. Oh, you did? I think I did. Well, uh, one or both of us are gonna have to take another one because it's time for the, the third kind of sort of annual Burbank Invitational Smelling Bee. Welcome to the Stank Station. The rules of the Smelling Bee are as follows. We will take turns here at the Stank Bar smelling each of these jars. If we guess a smell correctly, the first letter of that smell will be revealed on the board. And after we finish smelling everything at the stank bar, we'll try to guess the full word on the board, which represents something that will be dumped on somebody. Either the smeller if he guesses wrong, or the other guy if he guesses right. And we've got the two classic smelling bee lifelines in effect. One is a contestant can ask for the origin of a smell, or they can ask for the smell to be used in a sentence. And each lifeline may only be used once throughout the game. Let's get to sniffing. Mr. McLaughlin, you may begin smelling. Smelling? Smelling, yes. Do I just insert the straws in my nose? Yes, Mr. McLaughlin. I know the rules, I'm just trying to be talkative. Be sniffigive. Coffee. I'm gonna give you another chance. It's very savory. A latte? <laughs> I mean, it made the right family? I'll give you one more go at it. Soy sauce? Move on. <laughs> It just smelled exactly like coffee. Let me see if these do as well. Oh gosh, that smells like a, uh, like a vapor rub kind of thing you put on yourself. I would go down that path, but I'd go a little more granular. Menthol, I mean, whatever is in vapor rub is yeah, I, what's making it smell the same way, right? I would go, I'd go more natural. Hmm. It wouldn't start with M because it's a second letter in a word, so it's not meant. It, it probably is a vowel. What starts with a vowel? Aftershave. <laughs> <laughs> Every, I'll say everything you said is correct, except for your guesses. Move on. Okay, so I'm just gonna go with general vowel there. That'll narrow it down. Oh, that's a fruit? It's almost a rotten fruit, though. You're on the right track, except for the rotten part. Forget that. It's citrusy. It's not citrusy. It's citrusy? I'm not giving you a facial expression. Lemons. I'll give you one more shot. Limes. All right, I'll give you this one. That is correct. Oh, is... hey! It limes. is limes? Limes. There oh, wow. This is hard, man. You wait until you get your nostrils over now, here. I'm giving you hints, man. Oh. That's, uh, that comes from the sea. <laughs> it could be clams. It could be oysters. It could be fish. Have I said it yet? I'm not telling. It's, I, I'm going with oysters or clams. It's a shellfish. I need a final answer. And I wouldn't choose either one of those. <laughs> <laughs> it's just fish then. Be more specific. Little fish. Tuna. Is tuna a little fish? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh I didn't say it was a little fish, it, it, you did. Uh, sardines. I mean, I'll give it to you. Yeah! I know this is difficult. Yeah! So listen, I get, I, you know, with my help, you have, you have gotten 50% of this word. Mr. McLaughlin, why don't you step into the kiddie pool zone in order to solve and spell your way into getting dumped on, hopefully. Yeah, uh, okay, so that, whoo, I have, whoo, eels, eels. Out, pals. <laughs> Pills. <laughs> it gels. It's just, I'm gonna get some gels put on me. <laughs> Cells. <laughs> Why are you making that? I don't voice? know. Zell? I don't know what it is. Zells. I can't come up with another word besides pals. <laughs> like, I can't think of another word that could fit here. Like, that's what's happening in my brain right now. Spell it. Okay, the word is pals, P-A-L-S, 
pals. I'm sorry, Rhett. The word oh! is of eels. Two e's. Two e's, Two man. e's. What Espresso, is eucalyptus, oh, come and on. eels all over you. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Good God. What? Are they pieces of eels? What in the world kind of eel is that? Pick up that big chunk there, Rhett. It's eel. There's, first of all. Back to your right. Oh. There's eel. When you were sounding out, the first thing you said was eels. You said eels like at least four times. What? Well, eels are my friends. They're my pals. I won. <laughs> Mr. Neal. Yes. Proceed to smell your first item. I can tell you, all I can smell right now are eels. Yeah, it eels. Stinks you mean my pals? Ugh, I can't tell if this stinks or not, but I think it stinks. Hmm. It's like bad bread. Well, is that a guess? I smell yeast. Is it nasty? Um, I think this is a little, <sighs> it's a little bit divisive. This is a divisive polarizing thing. I got, shoot, what's some, cause I was gonna say like dirty socks. Mm. Some people like those. Or like toenails. Is that your guess? Yeah, toenails. Ah, uh, sorry, you're, you're, you're pretty far off. Just, just keep that in mind as you move on. And that, it's not, it's not close to toenails, in my opinion. Okay, whatever. Ooh! You like it? That, mm, smells like fruit punch. Mm. It smells like Hawaiian punch to me, man. Okay, it's not Hawaiian punch, and you like these. I like these. There's more than one of this thing in there. What's the hint? Give me a hint. Hawaiian punch wouldn't be healthy, but these sure would be. These are healthy. What kind of fruit is in fruit punch? I might even go as far as Tropical. to say a handful of them would be healthy. A handful of nuts is a healthy snack. I don't smell nuts. All right, sir, I'm gonna need a guess. I'm giving you strong hints. <sighs> Oranges. No. I mean, I just can't get over it. It's citrus to me. <laughs> All right. I'm savory. Mm-hmm. Mm, it smells like sour gravy. <laughs> <laughs> sour is gravy, is that your guess? No. You think it's fermented. Fermented, sour, and savory all make sense to me in this context. Like a red wine? Can I give you another hint? Yeah. You've already said this word while up here. I've already, I've already guessed this? You said this word earlier. Crap, I can't remember what I said. I don't listen to myself okay, when I talk. I'm, this is the <laughs> last, not my job. here's the last hint. You said this while smelling the first item. All right, it smells like bread now. Now I'm in a yeast, yeast area? I need a guess, my friend. <laughs> I can't remember what I said. <laughs> this is driving me crazy. I hate it. I hate knowing that I know it, that I've said it. <laughs> is it dough? I'm sorry, that's incorrect. <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> Moving to the last item. <laughs> now, Link, this is a very polarizing thing that you have very strong opinions about. You smelling it? Olives. You got it, Mr. D. Yeah. I got That's one! Right! Your word ends in... Shoot, man. Oh. This is... This is... This is oh. This is... Sorry, my pals are in my pool with me. <laughs> Oreo. <laughs> Please drop Oreos on red. <laughs> Fine, I, I have to use I have to use a lifeline. Okay. Uh, I would like the origin of the word. Okay. The origin of the smell of this thing is an old jar in your mom's fridge. What could it be? It could be a. Oh my gosh! I feel like an idiot. <laughs> um. Be 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 be. L -l 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 limo, limo would fit. This I feel like this it might be cheating. I don't know, but mayo. Are you gonna let me go through the whole alphabet? I'm gonna guess <sighs> mayo. M a y o mayo. Link, you're correct. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm let me tell you, I'm doing what you did in the, in the final round in my, my next round. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I'm gonna go through the entire alphabet until I get the word. Oh, 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 oh. oh man. Oh, Isn't wow. it an O? That 
was the best letter to I'm get. I'm sorry I'm so tall, Chase. I forgive wow. you. Ugh. Mayo. All over you, man. <laughs> Dang, son. Mr. McLaughlin, smell it out. I will, but first I want to let you know about the Black Friday sale at Mythical.com. Up to 40% off select items. 40% off select items. Can we do that? Yes, we can. Okay. You know what I'm smelling right now? Mayonnaise, Mayo. Mayonnaise and eels. Okay. Yeah. Put your nose over that to get an isolated scent. Oh, what's he? Bubble doing? gum. Dang, son. I mean, that's there's nothing else in the world that smells like that. I mean, there's other words for it, and I would have I would have given you a hint, but like <laughs> hey! you, didn't, you didn't even need other words. Woo, 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 you woo. got the B at the beginning of a word, and that's power. Maybe my fortunes are shifting. It, what is the tide is turning? What is the saying? The fortunes are shifting. Oh, oh, oh. Applesauce. No, but you're you're as close as you can be. Oh, okay. Apple pie. Yeah, I, I mean, I... <laughs> Dang! Yeah! Son, woo, 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 I know woo, how hard this woo. is. I, I don't mean, know. I don't know how what's happening. You're think, making it seem easy I think my soul just got crushed, and now my nose is turned on. <laughs> oh, this is how you get turned on? By like getting draped in it? Mayo and you know sometimes eels? when I just get into a pool full of my pals. Uh, we don't want to know. Oh, okay. That's Irish Spring. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, son! <laughs> I would hate you right now, except I feel so bad about you getting mayo all over you. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you before this round is over, you're getting bait on you. <laughs> but let me see what word this is that starts with a T. <laughs> Now I'm having fun. <laughs> now we're having fun when the fortune shifted. <laughs> Tabasco sauce. <laughs> Get over here. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Put it up there. Just what? put it. I'm standing in mayo. Just, can you just put it up there for me? Can you just put, I don't know how I just, I mean, I don't know what just happened, but I felt like I just had a supernatural connection. But listen, I mean, I really want. Spell it. I like. I would like to use a lifeline. <laughs> can can you can you use it in a sentence for me? Boy, I can't wait to get bait dumped all over me. The word is bait. B a i t. Bait. <sighs> Seriously. Oh, and you got some in your uh, glasses there. Oh my gosh! What? What, what? is it? An insect? That would have been a quite a combination to have mayo and then bait, but thankfully I did not oh, get tired and feathered. Mr. Neal, proceed with your smelling. It stinks in here, man. Well, it's coming from this region right here. Oh, this has got to be pickles. Uh-oh, looks like you've shifted your fortunes as well. Yeah. Yes, it's good to get that first letter. Okay. Ah, uh, this is either shaving cream or aftershave. Shaving cream. No. Okay, that's not my final yet. Aftershave. I'm going to need you to be I'm going to need sp specific. Oh. Uh, Aquanet? <laughs> Aquanet. All Spice. It no, is I the, mean Old it is Spice. The aqua no. Old Spice. You know what? It was actually Aquanet. You were right. No, old it's, Spice. It's Old Spice. Yeah, this, I think... Don't I, call it a comeback! I think this is going to be a clean sweep for you as well. I've been here for years. On, on, this, on this one. That's my theory, at least. Ooh! Ooh, that's strong. That's like... I'm, I'm, it's like I'm at a steakhouse. Mm, okay. What is this? I'm giving you... I know one, what this is. I know it's food. one guess for the last two. <laughs> Steak. <gasps> no. i got to clear my sinuses. That's fragrant, that's woody. It's like a pine scent. I'm gonna need a guess. Cedar. Nope. Ah! <laughs> Come on okay, over. So it's some Come sort on of over. Wood. Come some on sort over and wood. make your guesses. P O, if it was pine, I was gonna guess pine. If it's P O, mm, P, polyp. <laughs> poop. Is it, oh, freak. It could be poop. Could be. They could totally throw a poop on somebody. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't be the first time. Poor. Poor. Po. We're going to need an answer, Mr. Neal. <sighs> poop. P O 
O P. Poop. Of course that's what it is. Oh, it is? Because what were the other things? Oh, onions. Pine needles. Okay, pine. See, the pine's what got me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is that, so is that like manure fertilizer situation? Oh gosh, that's horse. That's horse. Straight from a horse. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, but one of us, one of us had to do it. And uh, I know it takes you longer to shampoo than me, but I'm sorry, man. I had to go for it. <laughs> I should be celebrating, but I feel you should feel guilty. Vindicated. <laughs> wow. <sighs> Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. It's time for me to take a shower. I'm Pai. I'm John from the Philippines. We have watched nothing but GMM during lockdown, and it's now time to spin, spin the, the wheel, wheel of mythicality. Well, there's a lot to watch. Nothing but GMM. But you could mix it up a little bit. Click the top link to watch us try to spell the winning words from the Scripps National Spelling Bee in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Will of Mythicality is going to land. Hey, check out our Black Friday sale with exclusive items and up to 40% off store-wide at mythical.com.